Good morning and welcome in. I am the Canadian trucker Rudy and I am here with Diego. I'm trucker's Rudy's son. Well, thank you guys for joining my channel and stay tuned for the rest of my day. fixing to leave the husky here in Nipigon. Just have a look at to the right here to this classic car up here. I love classic cars. Oh yeah. I looked in my computer this morning which way would be better for me to go. If it would be better for me to continue on Highway 17 or if I would be better off going Highway 11. the decision that going highway 11 is the shortest way although it's a rare very rough road up there on highway 11 but it is the shorter way I, uh, I was thinking earlier to come down highway 11 all the way back to the 17 but I looked in my uh, streets and trips in my laptop and if I go uh, Highway 11 up to Highway 66 and uh, cross a cut, uh, cut across over there to uh, 117. Uh, that brings me into Quebec over there already, and then I come in uh, straight into Montreal. So I would, uh, it would be a hundred kilometers shorter for me to take that road like that than even going here on highway 17 so uh, that's what I'm gonna be doing so 100 kilometers is about uh, 62 miles for those of you that don't know uh, kilometers too well that's 62 miles Anyways, let's have ourselves a great day, and we thank you for joining me on my uh, daily vlog today. We hope to see you on the next one as well. Now guys, this is the scenery you get once you leave Nipigon. I have just turned on to Highway 11, probably about two miles down the road. And this is the scenery you get up here. I don't know if I filmed this last time when I come through here but there actually seems to be a lot more water in here than there was last time last time there was even ice in here and uh, the, the water was not nearly as high yeah, usually the water is not this high anyways I've never remember seeing the water this high up here but hey at least the water has gone up a little bit it was quite dry I guess for a while so now the water has gone up, so I guess boats can get on here better. But this, isn't it just gorgeous? You know, got the big mountain there to the right, and uh, got a bit of a lake up here, or a river, whatever you want to call it. I don't even know what it is, really. I've never looked it up, so to be honest with you guys, I don't know for sure if it's called a river or a lake, but it looks fairly big. Looks like it's uh, like a mile wide, so looks fairly big, but I don't know how far it goes. Or... So, anyways, we're having ourselves a fantastic day so far. We'll see if we will get to see the sun today. So far, I haven't seen the sun, but it's not really super cloudy either, so we'll see. Yeah, even here you can see the grass. Uh, almost underwater up there and it's usually not it's usually not that high up there hey guys look to the right over here we got a snow 
snowman yeah Redmore Ontario they got a snowman all year long yeah a little tiny tiny town up here but they got some old artifacts right here to the right too some old ships and stuff yeah look at even this old sign here on this old building up here oh, that looks pretty old I like old uh, stuff you know like uh, from years ago you know I've always had an interest in old stuff so I don't know why but yeah look at that Silidon well that obviously ain't Big Jerry or not Big Jerry uh, Jerry Ott so yeah we are having fun that's for sure well guys if you like old buildings this is probably what you want to watch yeah this is actually a pretty interesting town up here in ontario yeah i haven't gone through this town in many years it's been a very long time long time for sure I always love to go see new places and new sceneries. We probably got about a half an hour to go and we will be in Quebec. Yep. Once we enter Quebec, there. Uh, what have we got here? We got all kinds of interesting pictures here to the right. Huh. That's strange. I never saw that before. It must be something new that they're doing. It's kind of weird the way they have their streets up here too. Like the way they... Got really, really super narrow roads up here. <laughs> You know, you gotta turn to the right every time you want to continue straight, right? <laughs> it's really super weird. But that's the way they got it routed up here, and that's the way we gotta go. But what I was fixing to say is uh, a little bit into Ontario, there is a uh, Patro truck stop up in there. Oh, look at this gorgeous picture right here on this building. And that's where we plan to stop at that Petro, uh, Petro truck stop a little bit into, uh, into Quebec. I, st I stayed at that one before. It's a nice little place. Right into Quebec. Oh, well, it was raining there for a couple of hours, so... I didn't videotape anything so while well, it was raining but now it has cleared up again now we are in the clear at least for now who knows for how long oh no you gotta turn just red right again eh oh well oh, they even got a KFC up here Jukebox probably wouldn't like to go here. You know why? Supposedly they don't have smashed potatoes. <laughs> At least that's what he says. I guess he really likes his smashed potatoes. <laughs> Come on, light, let's go. There you go. You listen on to me very quick, eh? seen in very very long time that is definitely true I guarantee you that I have never gone on here since I've had my YouTube channel so this is new to every single one of you guys that are following me you have never seen me videotape this before that is the truth hey 
Yep. Oh, look at that. They got some kind of barn up there. A red one. That looks kind of interesting. Up here, coming up to the left here. Right in town. Huh. They even got an old classic car sitting up here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it here to the left, but yeah, they even got a classic car up there. That's a gorgeous Pontiac. Oh yeah. All kinds of interesting things in old little towns, you know? Yeah. I'm kind of curious myself. What's <laughs> What have we all got going on up here, you know? Well, guys, this is apparently the state line of Quebec. Yeah, look at that. They got a weird sign for Quebec. Crossing border. A train coming back. Yeah. Quebec. All right. From now on, you will see no longer English signs. Speed warning. Yes. Yeah, not very many of these. <laughs> very few in between that you will see an English sign. That's just sad, you know. It's in Canada, but yet in Quebec, they don't seem to have English signs. Oh. That's the way it goes. You almost have to have a GPS in order to tell you where to go because half of the names uh, you can't, I can't pronounce. I don't know about you guys, but I can't pronounce. <laughs> hey, I just thought about something. JP. Yes, Van Calgary. I think you're gonna love it. You know why? Because tomorrow I will go through Montreal. Yeah, if nothing goes wrong, right? <laughs> so I know you are from that area, or at least you know of the area. Speed warning. And so you would probably like tomorrow's video to see Montreal. Yeah. So be sure to be watching, right? <laughs> Anyways, zigzagging around this little river up here. It's a gorgeous little river. Yeah, we shouldn't be too far away from our uh, little truck stop up here and we'll call her a day. Hey guys, we are pretty much finished for, well, we are finished for today. I'm at the uh, Petro Pass a little bit into uh, Quebec up here. Just going to adjust the camera a little bit. A little bit of a better angle. There we go. Anyways, we are at the Petro Pass, like I said, here in uh, Quebec. Uh, we get about 1,100 and somewhat kilometers to go yet to our uh, final destination, to our delivery place. But, uh, hey, we just had ourselves a great bite to eat inside of the restaurant here. And we also went inside and had ourselves a nice shower. They're actually pretty darn cheap up here for a shower. It's only five bucks per shower, and if you want a towel with that, it's an additional three bucks. So for eight dollars, you can actually get a shower up here. I know a lot of places in the states. It's already even Ontario. It's like eleven bucks, ten bucks, eleven, twelve bucks. You know, for a shower. So eight bucks ain't too bad at all. Yep, cleaned her up a little bit, and uh, now we're ready for the evening. I guess we will go ahead and uh, close the show for today and uh, I'll go back in the bunk and edit up these videos for you guys, at least start the process on them. Last week I was kind of lazy, I didn't really do anything during the week so 
I was kind of stuck at home doing it all and then I was fixing that uh, birthday uh, announcement and the vlogger fair announcement and all that video and ran into some problems over there so I just kind of almost screwed myself getting all the videos uploaded there on time before I left so I figured I'm gonna try and work on that so that way that doesn't happen again so uh we're gonna get to work so we will see you again tomorrow sometime some of you might be watching at 2 a.m but hey some of you might be watching later on in the day hey and also if you are new to my channel we welcome you and uh, we would like to uh, see you join our channel if you haven't subscribed already there's eh, maybe in this corner over here maybe somewhere right about eh, I don't know maybe down there in a corner somewhere you might be thinking why am I looking down well I got my phone screen set up there I got it hooked through the Wi-Fi so I can actually see which way I'm pointing and with the camera it's always confusing you know you're pointing that way and then the camera it looks like you're pointing that way which way am I pointing well somewhere down there in the corner <laughs> we're having fun anyways there's a subscribe button there on the right hand corner usually right in the bottom there and we would like to see you join our channel hey if you wouldn't mind also if you enjoyed the video share the video give me a big thumbs up hey if you absolutely hated the video well there's a thumbs down button too but that just lets me know that you actually did watch the video so have a good one and we shall see you on the next one it's time to get going it's time to move on put this behind me